gonna give it to you. We gonna give it to you. F gonna give it to you. We gonna give it to you. What's up, Jason? It's Grim from GTS Wrestling. And I just want to tell you, dude, I appreciate the shit out of that video you made. That was awesome. And and not just the chorus. You did the every goddamn verse. And not just the first verse. You did every verse. Bro, I listened to it to like 50 times and I still pop it. Like, I'm like, oh my God, he said solid steel. Yeah, dude, that was so good. Thank you, dude. And I appreciate the shit out of that. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, I'm going to enjoy this one. Because <laughs> see, now the roles are in reverse. Mr. Mad Hats, a.k.a. Mad Hatter Reactions. It's your turn to be put in the hot seat, my guy. And uh, I bet you thought I was playing when uh, I told you I was going to have a co-host. Well, let's just say... Can I get a... Oh, yeah! <laughs> i probably just turn the volume up on this a little bit. Anyway, now here's what's going to happen. <clears throat> if it's a fail, you're going to get this. If it's all good, all systems go, or, or, if I think it's just okay, it's pretty decent, you're going to get this. <laughs> Alright, so here we go. Let me go ahead and first give this a proper intro by saying, what is good guys? It is your boy Jason JV, saying welcome to another review video. And uh, yeah, I did not botch that intro because I have technically heard this before. I've heard this both unmixed and I've heard the final product um, beforehand. Um, we are re we are reviewing rather <clears throat> my man Matt Hats, aka the Mad Hatter from Mad Hatter Reactions, featuring our boy KSN from MTP. Shout out to the MTP fam. You know what I'm saying? And uh, yes. These guys collaborated on a track simply called Lost Your Marbles. And this was produced by H3 Music. So yeah. Can't wait to get into this one. I'm sure y'all can't either. Hence why you're here. And uh, real quick, you know, I'm wearing my Niner beanie for this because I love Vegas. But um, hashtag fuck the Raiders. And uh, yeah. <laughs> I just had to. But anyway, without further ado, I'd like to hear here. This one goes out to a stalker bitch. You know who you are. You know what you've done. You're crazy. You're psychotic. And you've lost your mother fucking marbles. Well, well damn. I mean, it sounds like my man is having some, uh, some woman troubles. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man, been there, done that. I get it. You know what I'm saying? Bruh, women, you can't live with them and you can't live without them either. You know what I mean? Bruh. Anyway. Who the fuck are you to step to the hatter, step to the plate and swing batter batter? You wanna play games, bitch, I'm just better. Don't make me release the facts in this letter. Have receipts for days that well validate the words I say. Show how you're crazy, bitch, no wonder you were single. Just say hi, then the bitch will tinkle. Just like a mud. Alright, so right off the bat, I'm gonna say that your flow is just, it's it's a little offbeat, you know what I'm saying? But, um, you definitely have the delivery. You have, you have, um... You do have a cadence, but uh, yeah, you need to, you need to work on your writing a bit more. Um, I've already talked to Hatter about this, so I'm gonna do my best to keep it consistent. And um, yeah, I feel like where his where where he's lacking is his pen game. Um, I already gave my man some tips when it comes to rap. Don't worry about speaking in proper English. You know what I'm saying? It's okay to use you know slang or you know. Short, shorten up your sentences or whatever you know what i mean there you don't have to worry about proper grammar or anything like that you know what i'm saying have fun with it it's rap it's hip-hop my guy you know what i'm saying talk that street lingo you know what i'm saying let's go to piss on the floor you open this door guess what's in store story time you want to talk about me bitch can't give head without dragon teeth damn how do i so mean with all the love damn you said man you can't can't get head without dragon teeth is that, is that what you said me bitch can't give head without dragon teeth can't give head without dragon teeth yeah, ladies, if if you don't know how to sheath your teeth when you um go down on a dude, um, 
I highly advise do not do it. Alright? I'm just saying. But anyway. Damn, had a wrestle mean with all the low blows. Was aiming for the dome, but hitting on the toes, letting out all the secrets with the psycho flow. So, man, you was hitting, you you was aiming for, for the uh, for the uh, dome, but yet you're hitting at the toes, man. It sounded like um this, this 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 girl, man, she got that that stormtrooper aim. You know what I'm saying? Like just 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 way 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 off the mark. Anyway. Oh, bitch is fucking crazy. If you know, you know. Stalking everywhere, in shadows, hide, act like a victim. Bitch, we're fucking lying. No one stays around. All of them going ghost. Okay, I like the way this started. You had a nice flow going with the B, but then it kind of fell off. Let me see. You know, stalking everywhere. In shadows, hide. See right here, it, it, you had a nice flow going right here. This, this, this was nice. Act like a victim. Bitch, we're fucking lying. No one stays around. See right there, that no one stays around. I feel like it kind of threw it off a bit. All of them going ghost. Maybe you're batshit crazy and really fucking gross. Take daddy's advice. Get into therapy. Find a new obs. Yeah, see that? Get into therapy right there. You you, you kind of rushed that one there a bit. I think if you stretched out the therapy just a slight bit, it probably would have fit better. Session and leave me fucking be. Why me to say sorry? you confused gender crisis. You got a better chance of fucking joining ISIS. Damn, bruh. Calling up this girl with the whole gender identity crisis. You know, saying she got a better chance of joining ISIS. I mean, bruh, bruh. How and, and how, how ironic, man. You got a uh, you know a uh, a uh, uh, Hispanic homie reacting to this shit. I mean, I, I'm just I'm just saying, man. I don't know if I should be um. Offended or, um, nah, fuck it. I ain't got time for that shit. Let's just get back into it. Off of the head, had a sup of blood, just like a Komodo, can never get enough. Bitch keeps confusing, love and fucking lust. Let's do some time, talk about the drugs. Left you as a felon, doing the time. Keep you get safe, you're out of your mind. What an example, mother of the year. How many nights, how many tears? Falls on the face, you don't wipe them away. You want to hurt me, bitch, what can I say? See, I like the way this part started off too, but then you kind of, like, again, you... You have this nice start in, in these segments, but then somewhere like halfway through, you just you just kind of fall off a bit. Again, you gotta like work on that pen game a bit. Practice your lines first before you um before when, when you record and before you settle on that recording. You know what I mean? Go back, listen to it. If it's not sounding right, if it's not fitting right, then a hey, go back and rewrite your your verses. You know what I'm saying? Um, never settle on the first draft when you write your verses. That goes for any new up-and-coming um, artist, you know what I'm saying? Anyone that wants to be a rapper, anyone that's planning on becoming a rapper, always make sure that you practice. Practice makes perfect. And uh, never settle on the first draft of your verse. First draft of your verse is never going to be the final draft. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you practice your shit out. Shit ain't fitting right. Correct your all your lines, you know what I mean, to make them fit. Once you got everything corrected then rewrite it so that way you can see everything nice and clear you know what i'm saying but anyway hey you gotta pick a game you can gotta have patience because uh when it comes to creating a dope rap song it takes time it takes patience it's a process so unless you have the uh patience for it i highly suggest don't do it you know what i mean um if you got the patience you got time to you know to go through the uh, process and making a proper song then, hey, by all means, go for it. Actually play, hearing your daughter's cry, mommy, please stay. So desperate for love, you give everything up, you cling on tight, you're obsessive as fuck. Didn't want to do this, hope it loses your startled. There's no help for you, you've lost your marbles. I really didn't want to do this to you, but you brought this upon yourself. You're clingy, you're needy, you're obsessive, you're... Okay, something else I'm noticing too, like in the on the earlier parts, your vocals were a little bit loud. Um, I feel like this part right here, the vocals, the, as far as like the levels concerned, is better. I think if your earlier portions were at the same level as this here, then um, where you know what I mean, where it's more consistent as far as like the volume levels concerned, it will be a lot better. Um, but other than that, I mean, 
Yeah, overall, it's not, it's not bad. I mean, you got a a strong foundation that you're working with. You just got to work on building off of that. You know what I'm saying? Let's go. Liar, you're a fucking stalker. Bitch, you're crazy. I wish you nothing but the best in life, but leave me the fuck alone. You ain't even worth the whole song. But hey, KSN, what up? Didn't you have a bitch do you wrong? Yes, sir. Your time to shine, brother. Let's fucking get it. Let me run this story real quick, bro. Yo, I can't wait to get into KSM verse, but I mean, had her. Um, like I said, man, since you're working with, with KSN and you're working with um, Menace or Ace and M, um, <clears throat> depending on which name he prefers, um, hey, f take full advantage, man. Pick their brains. You know what I'm saying? Learn from these guys. You know what I'm saying? Uh, if you're having trouble writing, whatever, learn from these guys. You know what I mean? Obviously, these guys know what they're doing because these guys are talented as fuck you know this as well as i do you know what i'm saying bruh bruh so yeah le learn from these guys you know what i'm saying pick their brains gain some knowledge you know what i'm saying so that way you know you can level up because i can tell you really want to do this man i i, I mean I, i'm feeling this you know what i mean like i said it may not be be perfect you know what i mean it's your first it, it's your first album that you're working on so i'll, I'll give you that that pass um but yeah, going forward though, man, um, like I said, le learn from this. You know what I mean? Anyway. This story real quick, bro. This bitch is crazy. Yeah. I've been dealing with this fucking shit on the daily. Yeah. I'd be lying if I said that she didn't break me. Because what she put me through was mentally rearranged me. Yeah. Yeah, I fell to my knees. Never thought that I'd be able to get back on my feet. Nope. Never thought this type of shit would ever happen to me. Because nah. I did everything I could to make her happy. Believe me yeah. when I say this bitch is off for fucking rock. rock. I've never been a mother to our daughters. Oh, I'm the one who sacrificed like everything. So all this drama bullshit's oh, on her. On her. She did it herself. Really thought that I would let her get away with it? Huh? Really thought that I would put my hands up. All right, so I feel what my man KSN here is saying. And shout out to my man KSN, you know what I'm saying? Um, my man talking about, you know, a girl doing him dirty, you know what I'm saying? Um, yeah. I, you know, like I said, I know what it's like to be done dirt, dirty by, by a female. I've been cheated on. I've been played, you know what I'm saying? It's not fun, and I don't wish that on anybody, you know what I mean? Not even my, my worst enemy, you know what I'm saying? I hope that uh, everyone can find the right person, you know, for them, you know what I mean? That is willing to commit, you know what I'm saying, and be there, you know what I'm saying, just be there, you know what I mean, be that rock, you know what I'm saying, that, you know, people need, especially during these times, you know what I'm saying, where, where, is, where, where, where we're going through some, some dark and trying times, you know what I mean, this is the time now where, you know, we need to start um, lifting each other up, you know what I mean, and uh, put some love, you know what I'm saying, in that relationship. You know what I mean? And if you can't do that, then don't don't bother. You know what I'm saying? Bruh, you go your way and you let that person that you were planning on playing go their way. You know what I'm saying? Bruh, go play somebody else. You know what I mean? Or how about better yet? Scratch that. Don't play nobody. You know what I mean? Like understand that, you know, what goes around comes around. This is a little thing called karma. You, if you're if you're gonna play somebody then you yourself best be prepared and getting played yourself. So, you know, take that into consideration when you even think about playing somebody. You know what I mean? Anyway. Why she love to clip up, cock it back and start aiming? But fuck that shit, you don't like what I'm doing, you can suck my dick. my bitch out here trying to use my kids like a poker chip, something to gamble with. Fuck you. If she's okay with that, then she'll be okay with how the fuck I handle it. Facts. If you care about the daughters, you will see how much that you will fucking damage them. Fact, but you only care about yourself. Uh -huh. What the fuck did you think was gonna change? What? We could have been civil about this shit, but you wanna do it the hard the way. way. And I don't really give a fuck about you at all, you the cause of my dark days. And our daughters did everything to me, but you just treat them like a card game, yeah. Yeah, that's that's the thing too, man. When there's kids involved, I mean, you know, like leave, leave, leave the kids out of it. You know what I'm saying? Let the kids have time with their father. You know what I mean? Because kids need both their mother and their father, regardless of circumstances. You know what I'm saying? Unless, I mean, I shouldn't say regardless of circumstances. You know what I mean? If the if the father is a total piece of shit, and I'm not saying that's that's case in case or anything like that. You know what I'm saying? If the father is a piece of shit, then I would understand. But, I mean, if the father is willing to be there for his kids, you know what I'm saying? Be a father, you know what I'm saying? Then let the man have his time with, with your guys' kids, you know what I'm saying? Because, again, in order to raise, you know, a proper, productive human being, you got to have 
both sides of that coin. You know what I'm saying? You got to have the, the mom. You got to have the dad. You know what I'm saying? Just because the two of you can't get along, you can't stand each other, that doesn't mean that the kids should only have to be with just one parent. You know what I'm saying? But that's, that's just not cool. It's not cool. Anyway. Yeah, yeah. And by the way, that goes for both sides, okay? It doesn't matter if it's the mom that's, you know, keeping the kids away from their father or if it's the father trying to keep the kids away from the mother. You know what I'm saying? It works both ways, all right? right. Alrighty, so what are my overall thoughts on Mad Hats and KSN's um, collab track, Lost Your Marbles? I'm going to go ahead and give it a... Now, here's why, okay? Is it... Is it is it is it a, a, a solid track? Is it like the greatest thing that I've ever heard? No, but here's the thing about that, though. I don't care who you are. Every artist, when they put out a first song, you know what I mean? Or, you know, like, and this is a prime example of that. Any artist that's working on their first album, your first song, your first album will always be your worst song and or album ever. You know what I'm saying? Everybody's first album, everybody's first song is always going to be the worst one ever. So, but I will say this much. So I'll, I'll give it that pass, and I will say this much. Uh, I, I feel like he does have a strong foundation to build off of. It's just the only thing he needs to work on, really, is his pen game, um, work on the uh, syllable count, and always remember you do not need proper English. You do not need proper grammar when it comes to rap, okay? It's rap, dude. It's poetry, you know what I'm saying? So you kind of have free reign in that regard okay um it's kind of a mixed bag here i was about to say uh in this case hatter words don't matter <laughs> i mean they do but then they don't at the same time if that makes any sense you know what i'm saying um so yeah uh work on the pen game work on that syllable count like i said you're working with with, with a couple of solid mcs you know what i'm saying case and menace uh, or ace and them again depending on whichever one he prefers um, you know what I mean? Learn, learn from those guys. You know what I'm saying? Pick their brains. You know what I mean? Sit down, have, have, have that session with them. You know what I mean? Learn from them. You know what I mean? Because, I mean, obviously those guys, they know what they're doing. They're, they're a couple of talented rappers. You know what I mean? That you can definitely, uh, learn a lot from, you know what I'm saying? And I'm not just saying that, like, that's real talk. So, um, yeah. Um, so yeah, all things considered. For a first track, you know what I'm saying? Um, like I said, I'll give it the, the first track pass. I I do think it's a solid start. It's not a bad first impression. I've heard worse. Trust me, I've heard far worse. Um, but yeah, man, keep at it. Keep at it, man. Keep grinding. If this is really what you want to do, go for it, man. Pursue it. Work on it. You know what I'm saying? Bruh. Because I can tell, man, you definitely have the heart for this. You got the passion for this. You know what I mean? And um, don't let anyone, including yourself, keep you from doing what you love to do. You know what I'm saying? To keep you from, from your dreams. You know what I mean? To keep you from accomplishing your goals. You know what I'm saying? Keep at it. All right? Strong start. Still got a ways to go. Definitely room for growth, room for development. And that's pretty much all I got to say about that. Let me know how you guys feel in the comment section down below. Um, do you think um, I'm being too nice? Do you think I'm being too harsh? You know what I'm saying? It is all good either way. Or do you guys agree? Do you disagree? Let me know either way in the comment section down below. I may not respond to every comment, but I do read them all. So, yeah, you guys are more than welcome to say your piece. All I ask is that please, you know, keep it civil. You know what I'm saying? We don't got to fly off the handle and come at each other sideways. We can have a nice civil discussion. We can agree to disagree all day, every day. You know what I'm saying? Bruh. So, yeah, with all that being said, guys, I'm going to go ahead and hook my man up with the likes. So, now he's up to 24 likes. And um, the Mad Hat the Mad Hats Raps channel is at 26 subs. Yo, we need to help get my man's numbers up. You know what I mean? To help encourage him, keep him going. You know what I'm saying? Bruh. Bruh. Otherwise, 
um, you know, we, we, we're going to have some problems. You know what I'm saying? And we don't want that. You know what I mean? Because, you know, my man here, you know what I mean? I can tell. And he, he's he, he's going to be someone one day. You know what I mean? He already is someone. You know what I'm saying? He's my homie. He's my, my best friend. You know, one of my best friends here on this platform. You know what I'm saying? And, um, yeah. So, yeah, make sure y'all go and support the homie. You know what I'm saying? Let him know that your boy Jason JV doesn't sent you. I'm sure he'll appreciate that. And, uh, yeah. Don't forget, link for the video will be in the description down below. You're more than welcome to hit that up whenever you like, however as many times as you like. And uh, feel free to check out, of course, all the other links in the description down below. That would be greatly appreciated. Uh, don't forget to, of course, if you're down with this channel, you're down with my music, my reactions, everything that I do here. If you're done with the channel, period, you know what I'm saying? You want to check out some more stuff. If you're new here, especially, hey, like, comment, subscribe, ding the bell so you never miss an upload. All that fun stuff, all that love, all that support is greatly, greatly appreciated. And yeah, with all that being said, it is your boy, Jason JV, and y'all take care. Have a blessed one. Catch y'all next one. Peace. What's up, everybody? It's Grim. Thank you so much for watching GTS Wrestling, but I want to tell you about another awesome channel. Jason JV on YouTube. He's the guy that did the F. Go and give it to you song, and you need to check him out. So subscribe, tap the little bell, turn on the notifications, and if you're not down with that, we got three words for you. Eat it. Yeah!